Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm doing a uh, um, 2013 club review what I have in my bag. So um, let's get started. All right, first with the um, wedges, I got the 56 degree, trusty 56. I got the tight. I mean, sorry, uh, the TaylorMade ZTP Z2 or preferred 56 degree uh, milled. Uh, with 12 degrees of bounce, I do have the, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, the pink 56 degree, I did that myself, because, um, I don't know, I think color is key, and keeps me a little bit more, um, a little bit more focused and stuff, and it boosts my confidence, so yeah, then I got the, um, the white Golf Pride, uh, Tour Wrap grips, and that's gonna be on all my white, there's, Show them to you. So, I have my 56, no, my 52, 56, and 60 degrees. So, that's what I use when I'm out on the golf course. So, yeah, got all of, got all of my numbers uh, pinked out right there. So, not sure if that's a good angle or not, but, yeah. So, I got the TaylorMade Z2 Preferreds. They're really nice. They're forgiving. Um... If you want a good club that'll put out really good for you and put up the good numbers, these are the these are the ones. I like the look of them and yeah. So that's my wedges. Put them down here. We're gonna get to the irons. We're gonna go to have uh, my P through um, P through four iron in the bag right now. So sometimes I switch out the four iron with um, a hybrid club, but uh, right now the four irons in there. So I got the. <clears throat> the Nike Victory Red S, um, Nike Victory Red S irons, these are really nice irons, not sure if you, there we go, there's a good angle, um, I also have them numbers pinked out, why, cause I like the, I like the, um, the hot pink on my clubs, so, yeah, I like these clubs a lot, these clubs, I've had these for one year now, I got them when they came out brand new, I think these are 2012 editions, so, yeah. And then, so we'll move to my grip. I have my uh, Golf Pride Tour Wrap, um, uh, Golf Golf Pride Tour Wrap Red, color red. Um, I like the color red on my golf clubs, so clearly that's what I'm gonna get. Um, the shafts are dynamic gold, regular regular flex. Um, I don't like stiff flex because uh, I don't know, just the way that stiff flex hits is not appealing to me. Um, so yeah, um, now we'll go to my woods next. I have the old trusty five wood, trusty R9 TaylorMade five wood. Um, this is when TaylorMade first kind of came out with the adjustable, with the adjustable um, technology where you can move, where you can close, open, or set neutral club face. So um, if I'm not, if you're just a weekend golfer and you're Looking for a forgiving club that's going to be a nice, good, trusty club. I'm not kidding. This is the club for you because this club is more forgiving the, than the R11 series than anything else that I've tried. Um, yeah, I've had this club for like three years now. I got it brand new when it came out. But overall, this club is just fantastic. I have the regular flex on it. Um, gives it a little bit... Um, a little bit more distance for me and a little bit more workability because like I said before I don't like stiff shafts so just the way that they hit but yeah the R9 TaylorMade 5 wood it's a very nice club uh, we got the Fujihara Fujikara sorry I can't really pronounce that shaft on it like I said it's regular flex um, so got my Golf Pride uh, Tour Wrap on there and uh, yeah overall this is a great club not gonna lie if you want something really nice, really forgiving, it is really forgiving. It feels like you're hitting nothing off the tee when you're hitting it. Um, I actually do really recommend that. It's a really nice one. Um, for my 3-wood, oh yeah, and by the way, this the TaylorMade R9 5-wood's a um, 18 degree, I believe. 18, I think. 19 degree. 19 degrees. So I've, I can hit it high and it's really forgiving. Um, so for my 3-wood, I have the R11S, the R11S 3-wood. 
I like this for pretty much off the tee. I don't really hit it anywhere else because, to be honest, I'm not really that good at hitting three woods. I don't like three woods really because they don't have enough loft for me. So, um, yeah, the uh, R11S three wood, mostly just to get the ball in the fairway off my tee shot. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. There's a lot of adjustability on these clubs. Um, I have it set right now in between the low and high setting. Excuse me. Um, I like hitting the ball a little bit higher off the, off the uh, tee, so I hit a nice high draw with this, and uh, it works out real nice. I like it a lot. Good club. Not very forgiving, not going to lie about it, though. It's not a forgiving club at all. You have to hit it good. If you don't hit it good, you're screwed. Pretty much pretty much screwed up the ass on yourself. So, um, For the driver, I have the R11S, uh, 9 degree. With the RIP Venom uh, shaft, 60 grams. Um, this club, I've had it for like six months now. Very nice club. Not gonna lie, I like it. The only club in my bag that actually has a stiff shaft. Like I said before, I don't like stiff shafts. I keep saying that over and again. But yeah, the R11S driver, very nice driver. I don't like the R1 driver. Why? Because um, there's too much graphics on it, and for me that's not appealing to my eye, so apparently I'm not going to use it. Um, yeah, but the R11S um, driver it works out real nice. I actually do like the stiff shaft on it because it gives me a little bit more accuracy off the tee, but that's that's the only club that I'm going to actually have that um, that's going to be a stiff shaft. I have it set for neutral because I don't like closing or opening the face. Right now I have it set on um, the higher, higher degree. I'm pretty sure it's ten and a half right now. Yeah, ten and a half, because um, the R11S goes up a degree and a half or down a degree and a half. So, yeah, that's pretty much um, that pretty much sums up my driver. I don't really have anything else. My ten gram weight right here in the heel is in the heel, um, because I like hitting a draw. So I'm gonna have a lighter toe to turn over the face uh, yeah that's that um, so now my last club will be my putter my putter I've had this for like two years now haven't or actually one year I think um, haven't switched I love this putter I am a tailor-made guy I just have Nike Victory Red S irons and that's all I have Nike irons are really good irons but anyways yeah, I got the uh, TaylorMade Ghost Corza putter. It's really nice because it's kind of between, I don't know if you want to call it a blade, maybe between a blade and a mallet putter. But, um, yeah, it's a really nice putter. It's really it's really good. I like like the center shaft on it. Got center shaft in there, so it's going to give me a little bit more accuracy off the rolling putt. Um, so... Yeah, this is overall a great part. I really do recommend getting it, trying it out at least. Um, yeah, um, I just got, I have my alignment sticks in here. Um, my alignment sticks usually just for on the range, just to align up my iron shots, just to know that I'm, know that I'm uh, aiming the right direction. That's always good. I really do recommend getting these if you are not, um, if you're not hitting your irons accurate, you're going to want to align yourself with these. These are going to help you a lot with your game. Not going to lie. Get these. These are only probably a dollar a piece. I think if you go to Fleet Farm, if you don't live near a big city, they should have them at your local hardware store or something. Not that much. They're not a lot of money. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's real nice. Real nice having alignment sticks in your bag. Um, yeah. So uh, I'll show you my ball quick, my ball that I use. I'm not going to show you the ball because I don't really have, I don't really feel like doing it right now, but I use the Bridgestone E5 distance and control. So uh, yeah, very nice ball. I don't, if, you're, if you're not that good of a golfer, I don't recommend picking out a certain ball that's going to help you. If you're going to pick one out and you're not that good of a golfer, I'm not going to lie, go for the Bridgestone E5. It's real nice. Real um, soft ball. They're gonna help you a lot. Um, so my glove, my glove is, it's actually a weather glove. It's a weather glove, Foot Joy weather glove. Um, I don't, I actually don't use 
the strap-on gloves because I like um, I like the feel of these kind of gloves on my hand. So yeah, these are real nice. I really like these. Just putting, just slipping them on and off. So um, yeah, the they're I think they're winter soft. I think that's what they call them. I'm not sure. Don't uh, don't quote me on that. But yeah, the weather they're winter soft or whatever. Just slip them on and off, and uh, they're just appealing to my hand. So yeah, um, I have my thing. I always, I put play your game, play my game on it, or whatever, or play your game. So um, yeah, that's just a little tip. What I have in here is a ballsy. Put water in there. Oh, that's my golf course that I play. I don't really want to disclose the location of that, but yeah, ballsy. Put it in your pocket, clean off your ball, just rub your ball around in there or something, and I do that. I got my stroke counter, um, yeah, stroke counter, they're, they're really handy when you're just playing by yourself and you want to know what your stats are and stuff. Got some ball marks in here, I got my uh, ball thing, my ball, um, put, a, put a putt line on there, so yeah, that's that's handy, I always get, always get yourself on a little, um, what else do I have in here? I have coins, you know, gum wrappers and stuff. Coins for ball markers. Um, I have, have so much junk in here. Look at all that shit. Anyways, I have my my uh, golf rules book. Always need to have a rules book on hand. If you don't have one, you should probably get one if you're playing for actual money and whatnot. I got band-aids in my bag. Um, yeah, so um, that's pretty much how I that's pretty much what I have in my bag right now. Um, uh, I have I think these are oh, whoops, two and three quarters inch tees um, just appealing to my eye and they have the uh, right here how far you can put your tee down into the to the turf, um, and I always put mine up to the first line, so it just keeps me keeps me more consistent off the tee. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have in my bag. I have my all my bag bag tags on this side, and I have my golf towel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's in my bag.